your television remote, your toothbrush. These are things we touch every day without giving them a second thought, but like so many things in our day-to-day -day life, they're covered in bacteria. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the 2018 flu season has sent the most people to hospitals since the 2009 swine flu. For businesses like the Kansas Sampler and Topeka, customers like Haley Kraxner come in and out all day. They touch merchandise, possibly spreading germs. I can see like where a lot of people are trying to clean things up a little bit more, and obviously I know touching things, I know sometimes I'm like, well, I need to be a little more careful with that just because I know I'm not sick, but at the same time, things that are spreading, I'm just like, need to be more cautious of that. Store manager Lacey Fike says she regularly wipes down and cleans for employees and customers. Exactly, we sanitize our registers throughout the day in workstations that different customers might be touching for employees to keep them healthy. And if we do have any employees that aren't feeling well, we make sure that they're not coming into work sick. During the flu season, it's important to remember that after touching public objects, it's a good idea to either wash your hands or sanitize. It's something Haley says she's very aware of. I think I definitely have washed my hands more than I ever have. Um, I don't know, it's one of those things that I usually do anyway. If you get the flu, the CDC recommends waiting 24 hours after your fever is gone before going into public places. For KUJH News, I'm Dan Garrett.